guys, how's it going? It's Wednesday, the 1st of November 2017, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. Hooray. So I've just had a fucking shower and got some soap in my hair. My fucking stinging night like matter is. I'm, not, I'm only telling you because I know you're deeply concerned about me all the time. Um, yeah, how are you? All right. I want to talk to you about Dejan Lovren, actually, and this death threat. You know, if you don't know, someone on social media posted a death threat to him, all right? And he took a screenshot of it and put it on his social media so everyone could see this death threat. Because serious business and all that, right? Now, I think the profile picture of the person that sent it, he looked like three Barcelona players to me, but I didn't pay much attention. Therefore, he's probably not a Liverpool fan that's angry with his fucking, you know, his recent performances. Now, I know what he's saying. If it had been three Liverpool players or a Liverpool-related profile picture, that wouldn't have made them a fan either. I get that, because you don't go around threatening to kill players. Although, I'm sure it could have been any of you fuckers recently, because I know you haven't been very happy with him. Now, I have defended him recently. I mean, actually, in fairness, I've been better defending than he's been doing. Uh, but just saying that, you know, he's had some shit going on in his personal life and just saying that he shouldn't be attacked on social media, not saying he's not a shit player or all that. Uh, I'll leave that to you guys, he said. Um, but, you know, I have defended him a little bit recently, but I just thought this was a bit silly putting that out, right? Because, all right, he's been caught up with some people that may be, like, you know, not very nice people. Um, I think if you go on coptalk.com and just search Lovren in the top right, you'll find the article or whatever. I think it was a Voice of Cop Talk article, I'm not sure. Um, you know, he's been caught up in some serious biz recently, which isn't a laughing matter. And, um, you know, so maybe if he did get a death threat, he should take it a bit more seriously than, you know, us ordinary peasants. The thing is, though, if you thought you'd received a genuine death threat, right, because he's not said it was, like, going to kill you and your family or something like that. Not very nice stuff, right? I'm, I'm not taking piss at all. Um, if that was a genuine death threat or he thought that, would you, you wouldn't be putting that out there, in my opinion. I think you'd be saying to the police, hey, what the fuck's this, right? So, <clears throat> awareness, I get that. But... You know, when was the last time anyone took any of that stuff seriously? I mean, is it not usually 14-year-old fucking kids just, you know, run their mouths online? I know, how do you tell who's genuine, who's not? What should you take you know, seriously and whatnot? The only thing I'm saying is that if I thought it was genuine, I wouldn't be fucking mentioning it online. I'd be going straight to plod, yeah? Do you get me drift, guys? So I thought that was more of a, hey, look at me, I'm a victim, like, you know what I mean? Which is, he probably wants a bit of support at the moment. Which is understandable, which shit he's taken, do you not think? So, I'm not belittling it, I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just trying to look at why he did it, and why he's put it out there, and um, it's not nice. He's having a fucking rough time, his lad, so, you know, look, it'd be better for us if he, you know, had some support, you know, and, um, you know, because he's still going to be called upon, so what's the point of everyone getting on his back and uh, making it worse? So, uh, I, I just, I don't know, I wonder what your thoughts about it all were. Um, interestingly, we discussed on the Cop Talk podcast today. Um, wasn't a very good podcast because I was tired. I, I must admit, I think it's not the most um, best one I've ever done. But uh, still, you know, we've got a few things underway and discussed on it. Um, we we discussed on there. If you want to get the podcast, coptalkpodcast.com, it's free to download that, that episode. Um, we were, we also we discussed uh, Matip. You know, and and you know, does he get away with a lot of criticism? Because it seems to me that Lovren's blamed for everything. Now I know what you're thinking. You think that's because he's fucking responding. I get that, <laughs> but no one's saying anything about the other defenders, and he's not on his own, is he? And I know some people, some maybe don't deserve to be criticised, but some people are saying that Matty was just as fucking shaky next to him, but he's getting off of it because everyone's focused on Lovren. That's what I want to know. I want to know what you think about Matty. Now, are you happy with him? Or is Matty shaky because he's playing alongside him? Or are they both not good? Or would Virgil Van Dijk, if we manage to sign him, would would they be you know good along? Would he be good alongside uh, Matty and be a better partnership? Or are you thinking you know uh, other players that are at the club that when they get a bit more mature, maybe he will be able to slot in there? What are you thinking, guys? I want to know what you're thinking. Cause it seems like it's been a while since we've had a a good conversation. All right, so. <laughs> And there's no point me saying to you, leave Lovren alone, don't go issuing death threats and fucking whatnot. Because I'm sure we all issue fucking death threats every time we see him on his ass. But, you know, some of the abuse he's been getting online has been fucking awful. So that can't be good. It can't be fucking good. And look, when I get I get abuse online, right, you know, from people to do with other Liverpool websites. And, you know, I, I'm a bit of a controversial figure because I say things as I fucking like, yeah. I don't, like, try to upset anybody. 
But sometimes if you're not all on the same page, if you're not, you know, if you if you dare to joke about something to do with the club or you say, well, no, actually, it's fucking manager's not good enough with that. You know, Liverpool fans, or not just Liverpool fans, but fans in particular, can be very touchy and can get quite nasty. And, um, you know, I've had it for fucking more than a decade easy, you know, from, um, from mainly from other websites, really. And also, I'm not from Liverpool and they don't like that, that I've done all right with the website and stuff. So I get all that shit. Uh, you'd have seen it. And um, it, t- to me, it's water off a duck's ass now. You know, it's like, it doesn't it doesn't bother me now. Years ago, it fucking really did. But that was before I realised that on the, you know, it was the beginning of social media, really. And now when I see, like, when someone someone loses a kid or something and, they, you know, um, parents, like, get the child murdered or something and there's these sickos online saying all these nasty things and doing pictures of the kids. and It's really fucked up on there. And, you know, famous people online get so much abuse, like Lovren, for example. And you start, and I started to realise, oh, it's not just fucking me, you know, it's, it's just a, a, an internet thing, especially on Twitter. And um, But, you know, it's, it's not nice. And usually, usually the shit I get is usually inspired by a handful of people that have a decent following, you know, and they're, a, they're of a particular type of Liverpool supporter. Um, the way they're associated to certain things and certain beliefs about the club. Uh, you know, and if they start, or a few of them all start at once, then it's not very nice, guys. You know, even though it's water off a duck's ass, it's like, oh, fuck that, whatever the odd comment here and there. But when it's like happening all at once, it's like, it, it, I can handle it, but it just makes you think, good, you know, I'm 40 fucking, what, well, I'm 43 now. Years, not stone. And I just think, do I really need this? Do I really need this? You know, but then again, if I was someone like Lover and getting paid 100 grand a week, you could say what you fucking want, you know, so maybe he needs to be a bit more fucking thicker skinned about it. I don't know. You'd have to let me know, let me know what you think, really. The good thing about Twitter today is there's these different privacy settings that I recently discovered that means I don't see any comments unless they follow me or, or something like that, you know what I mean? So that's good because it just keeps the peasants away. Uh, but maybe if you know if you're high profile like them, genuinely high profile like them, with a lot of money coming in each week and that, should you not just like is that not part of the professional game today, guys? We know what society's like online. We know what these plebs are like, and we know there's people that are genuinely passionate and overstep the marks, overstep the mark sometimes, you know. So and probably don't mean it. And we know that there's tools out there that will say things, you know. And we also know there's real people out there that will cause harm to you. So, but are you not, you know, 100 grand a week? Are you really, is any of you going to give a fuck what anyone says to you on 100 grand, if you're on 100 grand a week? Because I don't think I fucking would. You know, but money's not everything, I know that. But fuck me, you know. Money can't buy you happiness, that's what they say, don't they? Money, you know what I mean? Money, money doesn't guarantee you happiness, but... My answer to that has always been, I'd rather cry in my Mercedes than on a push bike. Let me know your thoughts, guys, about Lovren and Matip.